Okay friends, I'm back again today and I am sharing with you five frugal large family crock pot meals that you are going to love. I'm gonna show these meals in action. These are all included in my brand new large family slow cooker dinners and four week meal plan that is now available. The first dinner that I'm doing is our Italian peppered beef roast, yum. Let me show you how this is going down. First thing I'm gonna do while we are, while we get everything ready, I'm gonna go ahead and get my slow cooker on high. And it can just, it can start warming up and liking it. Okay, oh yes, yeah, so many, so many spices and things going on in here. But I know I have a bottle of it in here. I just picked up those bay leaves again. Come on, Italian seasoning, there you are. There you are. And I feel like there was something else. I feel like my whole little cabinet needs to be organized, and this is not the time to do it, J. Morrell. This is not the time. Got some stuff here. Here's our roast and some of those yummy peppers. And then I am going to get my cooking spray and spray my slow cooker with this. That was half a large diced onion. I will just bag up half of this onion. There's something else coming up real soon. Okay, and so now I'm just gonna put our whole lovely jar of these peppers, including the liquid, in with the roast. I have used a variety of meat cuts for these roasts. These were my Walmart grocery order meat cuts for this time. My favorite place to get roast when I'm not getting them directly from the farm is Costco. But Walmart grocery pickup order is certainly a nice sanity saver as well. So and this ends up being about four pounds of meat in here as well. I'm going to put this lid on. We are gonna cook it on high for anywhere from four to six hours. A fantastic way to do it as well is you can cook it on low for up to 10 hours. Makes it super tender and juicy. It's good cooking on high as well. So there we go, dinner's done. Alrighty, it has been several hours. So let's look at this Italian peppered beef ribs now. Okay. Good gonna be a lot of steam coming out of here. There we go. It smells so good. I did one of these little, there we go, steamable bags of Brussels sprouts to go with this roast tonight. Now, not all of my kids like Brussels sprouts, but I do have some that do. So we do Brussels sprouts with brother. Brussels sprouts with brother, yeah. Brussels sprouts with butter. Wow, we can say that three times fast. We have our Italian peppered beef roast. And then over here, I also did rice in the slow cooker. You can see how this looks. My recipe for doing rice in the slow cooker will be linked down below. But pretty much all I do is four cups of rice and about eight cups of water. And then I cook it on high for about two and a half, three hours. And there you go, rice is done. Okay, friends, so this is my mama plate. I am going to shove all of this in my face. Oh, yes, I am. Mm-hmm, yep. This is the State of the Union right now. We've had a lot of snow today in Virginia. I think we've gotten at least at least four inches, which is a lot considering they were saying maybe one or two. The kids have been out for hours. So I am going to get some slow cooker lasagna. Did you know that you can do lasagna in the slow cooker? You can, it's a thing. And I haven't shared this one in a while. So let me show you what we're cooking up. So this is my brand new large family slow cooker dinners and four week meal plan, quick and easy volume one. With this baby, you don't have to worry about dinner for up to four weeks. There are grocery lists for every single week and then there's bi-weekly grocery lists and then there's even a once a month list if you wanted to get everything for all 20 meals at one time. So then here is the recipe that we're doing for the slow cooker lasagna. I've already cooked the two pounds of ground beef. I cooked that, actually Naomi stood here and cooked it for me. She did that and we also put in a head of minced garlic. Right now I'm gonna mix up my four eggs and I'm using cottage cheese. You can also just as easily use ricotta. 
I use just whichever one I have available. I'm gonna mix those together and also the Parmesan cheese. We're gonna add the cooked sausage. I did sausage as my meat of choice with our jars. This says jars of spaghetti sauce. I have canned tomato sauce and some diced tomatoes, so that is what I'm using. Oh look, it says tomato sauce is fine too, yay. And then I have my package of lasagna noodles. So we're gonna get all this together and get it in the slow cooker. Okay, so let's see if this is the tomato sauce I have. Let's see if this can opener is gonna be friendly today. Okay, so now I'm going to put my eggs and cheeses in this other bowl. I'm doing four eggs. And then this is 24 ounces of cottage cheese. I would also use about 24 ounce tub of ricotta. And then I'm gonna put in about a cup of this Parmesan shaky cheese, as we call it. It's our JMRL eyeballing school measurement there. And I'm just mixing my shredded cheese in this so I don't forget about adding it to my layers. Here's our cheese sauce mixture, here's our spaghetti sauce mixture, and now we're gonna take our noodles over here and get layering. I'm gonna do a layer of the meat sauce on the bottom. Now I'm going to do my noodle layer. Don't be scared to break your noodles. So then you can see how haphazard my noodle layer is there. Now we'll do another cheese layer. So there we go, there's our little lasagna puzzle. I think I can fit a few little pieces down there. And now I'm gonna just cover the top with sauce and then we'll do a little bit of shredded cheese on top. We'll do more shredded cheese at the end. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put my lid on and then this is gonna cook for four to six hours on low and it'll be perfect. Okay, so here's how the slow cooker lasagna looks about five or so hours later. Top of the slow cooker off, yay. So there you go, you can sprinkle some shredded cheese on top or do some Parmesan shaky cheese, but pretty much looks like lasagna. You just plop it on there, get some garlic bread, and yay, right from the slow cooker. I do not keep it dragging the drum, we're back. Well, no, she, she's actually a good guy. I'm glad you're almost pet. Yeah! Oh. Bitch, we're almost you at Rex. Oh, Rex. Ah! Rex. Ouch! You bite my face. You bite my face. You weren't touching him. Bitch, get on me. I have boo boo. I good morning. Oh, no, Bitch, Rex is done. Happy day. Top of the morning ah, to you. Yeah. Uh, we. We got little boys. We got inside winter play. They got some puppets from grandmother for Christmas. Also, Benjamin got this huge Rex toy from Toy Story. My mom thought it was gonna be like maybe 24 inches tall and instead I think it's about 48. It's huge. <laughs> he loves it. So that is uh, the leading toy in a lot of play that's going down now. Also, we've got, oh yeah, got Mr. Travis on the eggs over there. Mm -hmm. Starting the day right. Mm. Yeah, just volume, volume level. Once once I get the coffee in, I'll adjust to the volume. So, Monday here now. I'm gonna get dinner going in the slow cooker. I'm gonna do some vegetables with this tonight, but I don't, I obviously have enough to do for the rest of the day. We're gonna do, uh, jump into full on school today. Kids have basketball this afternoon slash this evening that Travis is taking them to. I'm gonna stay home and film a bunch of exclusive videos from my new membership community. <laughs> and uh, just, you know, things going on all day long. So let's get this chicken in the slow cooker. So here's the recipe that I am using to do the peppered lemon chicken today. As always, my recipes are also over on the blog. This is the detailed four week meal plan that has the grocery shopping list and all the thinking done for you. Yay, plus cute slow cookers, nothing wrong with that. Here's our uh, dad scrambled eggs a la Travis. I don't I don't think you cooked enough eggs, man. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Better get some toast going. And we have some Kitchen Morning Madness continuing up. But I showed in a recent live video, this is the new uh, Cuisinart food processor I got. It's a 14 cup. 
And then this is my new 10 quart slow cooker. I'm not breaking it in today though. I am using this eight quart crock pot over here. I'm going to get it plugged in. Here's some tortilla chips. I got a sa uh, taco salad and we were at a basketball the other night at Wendy's and I did not eat the chips with it. So yes. I'm gonna preheat it on high and actually go ahead and get it sprayed. Let's see if I can drop things. No, I'm not coordinated enough to get the tripod going this morning. Mama, don't feel it. Okay, so we've got our oil that's going in. Lemon juice. Supposed to be a teaspoon of pepper. Pepper. I'm doing eyeball in school. And then some salt. And then the lid. Dinner's done. Yay, moving on for the rest of the day. I'll show you what I serve up with it tonight. Okay, friends, hours later, and this peppered lemon chicken is more than done. I'm going to just unplug that for now. And then when we did our afternoon read alouds, before we started reading, I got some veggies prepped over here. And then I also did some radishes, just about five minutes in the pressure cooker. I'm gonna drain them and add some butter, but I'll show you our dinner plates here in a moment when I make them. And no, I didn't get out of the bathrobe yet today. Probably won't happen. Yeah, I'm making all the plates because we've got kids getting ready to go out the door for basketball practice tonight. So we've got Amelia's plate. She really likes those tomatoes. And then we have Daniel's plate and that's their lemon pepper chicken. Of course they can have more if they want. I had forgot to put those on Daniel and uh, Amelia's plate, so I went and added those on, but this is for Gabriel and Liam to eat as they run out the door. There's my mama plate, like it or not, I called it a mama plate, and here is Travis's plate. Now my mom is visiting too, so this is dinner for 10 for tonight. I forgot I also, I had one of these, just, just a little, little bag of shrimp from Aldi. Several of the kiddos though, they love shrimp, so does my mom, so that's my mom's plate. This is what's left of my plate, some shrimp just went down, and yes, I'm uh, doing the upside down ranch bottle <laughs> trick. And then there's Naomi's plate. Um, that's why the ranch is dribbled across because I've been, yeah, tapping it along. Come on, little ranch. Uh, but anyway, Naomi's and my mom, they're on a walk with my mama's dog. Actually, they're back now, so yay dinner. So our good old faithful dishwasher that we got new a few months ago, it was a big upgrade for us. Usually we just replace the $300 dishwasher every couple years. This one was on the higher end of, uh, I think I got it on sale for $550. Anyway, this thing has proven me wrong as far as an upgrade. I might have done better sticking with another $300 dishwasher. It seems like every few weeks it'll work for a few weeks and then it'll stop working. And if we just wait two weeks, I mean, Travis, of course, has tried to work on it. Zion has watched some videos and tried some tricks, but all that to say, we now apparently are in a season where the dishwasher's not playing along nice and we're hand washing dishes. Well, the chickens are not gonna complain about mama peeling carrots, that's for sure. Okay, so I've been doing mega meal prepping, got this kitchen cleaned. Uh, we have a load of dishes in the dishwasher that needs to be unloaded and hand washed <laughs> and then put away. But one of the things I'm doing now, I'm gonna get, I got two more slow cooker meals that I promised I would do for this video, I have to get going. And then a lot of the meal prep stuff that you see that I'm doing is I'm making a whole bunch of exclusive videos for my new Large Family Table membership community that you can join now through January 20th and then the doors close. I will probably open membership up in later 2020. Not right now though, because it has been a whole lot, a lot of, whole lot of work on this mama. Building that site, getting it set up, getting all the exclusive content on there, and of course, enjoying the membership time. But I will be happy when the doors close to membership here on the 20th, because then I won't also be in like launch mode, sharing mode, like doing being a cheerleader telling you all about it. I'll be able to just enjoy membership and then enjoy YouTube and all the other things I'm doing. I know, excuse me, I got a dirty washcloth in my hand here. One of the questions I've been getting a lot is, Jay Morrell, are you closing in your Facebook page? Are you stopping doing YouTube? What do you mean you have an exclusive community? Does that mean we'll get no more videos? Everything that I have been doing for, I've actually been sharing online for a decade now. Uh, I have people who've been reading my blogs since, since way back in the day, and I've been on YouTube for over five years now. So all of the things that I have created and I'm sharing and I have shared, 
those things stay the same. You can go over to my website, largefamilytable.com. There are literally hundreds of recipes you can read and get the directions for for free. They're all there. Go, go check all those out. The new membership community is another special layer. A lot of you ladies have said you want more videos from me. You want more recipes from me. You would like to have more opportunity to interact with me personally. You would like more helps with grocery shopping, more helps with meal planning, just basically more, more, more. So if you love the content that I have been sharing for five years on YouTube, 10 years online, if you just appreciate all of that, then the Large Family Table membership community is for you. Right now through January 20th, you can join. It's only 12 bucks a month. And there are a lot more benefits that I have not stood here with my dirty washcloth and rambled off to you. Click the first link in the description below and you can read all about the classes, the special guest, the exclusive product, $14.99 value or higher, just that members are gonna get included in their membership every month. All that to say, it's 12 bucks a month or $72 for the year. Now the $72 for the year is 50% off. If you were to break that down by the month, it would only be six bucks a month. I have had probably five or six mamas who signed up for the monthly, but then they decided they wanted to go ahead and pay the annual while the deal's available. So when you click the first link in the description below, if you want to do the annual to save 50% off, you need to click one of the links that says join now for $72 a year, 50% off. There's different buying buttons on there. Some of them take you to sign up for the 12 bucks a month and some of them take you to sign up for the 72. So now that I said all that, Again, in the description, I will have special links so you can go right to the 12 or right to the 72 if you want to. Up to you and all of you mamas who are telling me that it's not in your budget and you can't do it right now, I certainly hear you. I am the mama who fed a family of up to seven on 250 up to $300 a month back in 2009. That's when I taught myself once a month grocery shopping and there were not all these tools on the internet like there is now. Yay for the internet and technology. That's one of the perks. So I certainly know where you're coming from. And all of my regular eight to 12 videos a month are still gonna be over here on YouTube. But for you mamas who want more from me, that's who membership is for. Okay. <laughs> so many slow cookers going on as I am slinging all these different food videos this evening. But back to this one, I'm going to do kielbasa and potatoes in the slow cooker. This is our actual dinner for tonight. So what I'm going to do, I need to get um, an onion and I need to get some peppers and chop those. One of the videos that I'm doing for membership is mashed potatoes three ways. They get a special video dedicated to that. So I'm showing them, mashed, I'm showing them potatoes in the slow cooker, potatoes on the stove to pop top, potatoes in the pressure cooker, at cooking them all three ways and making mashed potatoes with them. I'm also doing a video of refried beans. Actually, we're doing pinto beans in the slow cooker overnight, and in the morning I will be doing refried beans. I'm additionally, all of these carrots are for, I'm doing, I'm gonna have like seven slow cooker videos going, doing carrots in the slow cooker. I'm doing another video of a whole chicken in the slow cooker. And then um, here I was testing my slow cooker size here. I was going to do another video of spaghetti squash in the slow cooker. So all of those are in membership. So if you join, you'll get to see all of those too. But at least in this video, you get to see some of my behind the scenes running around and getting it all going. Um, dinner tonight, kielbasa. Okay, let me get one more of these. So we're gonna do some more slicing for this. And then I was also gonna get mac and cheese going in the slow cooker. With uh, the one recipe I have up on the blog, I don't have everything that I share in that recipe available, but I wanna show you how I just adapt it. Like I have mozzarella cheese. I don't have any sliced ham, which is in my other recipe. But I've made it without a protein uh, such as meat. I've made it without a meat protein in there before and it still turns out great. So before I totally confuse you, let me get another kielbasa. So with this kielbasa and potatoes recipe, my recipe that's on the blog calls for a five pound bag of red potatoes. I had a five pound bag of yellow potatoes. It will work just fine. Those we washed earlier and I got them in this slow cooker. Now I'm going to chop up, um, I have, for regular bell peppers, 
This is what I had left from side dish last night with dinner. Uh, the only other peppers I have are these smaller, more like snacking sweet peppers. But I'm gonna chop up these to put in this kielbasa and potatoes as well. We're also gonna chop up the onions and uh, the celery I'm washing for something else. You know, we're spinning all the plates tonight, literally. Daniel, do you want a carrot? Sorry, no. now now the kids have seen the carrots. They, they get to eat these carrots because I'm cooking want, them. I don't want to eat shy. You don't? Okay, then you can have the other half. And I was like, I need the rest for what I'm cooking up for these videos that mom's been doing all yeah. afternoon. So, okay, back to chopping peppers. Okay, so I'm gonna put in some garlic powder, put in some onion powder. I should put in a little oil too. Now, some of this celery that I'm prepping up now is to do the refried beans in the slow cooker. We're actually doing pinto beans. That one towel keeps swapping them. Doing pinto beans, but after they cook overnight, then I will do refried beans tomorrow with the immersion blender. It's a beautiful thing. I've shared it in my Insta stories before. Anywho, I'm gonna put some of this celery with the chicken and some of this celery in the pinto beans. I'm gonna also go ahead and chop up another onion between the chicken and the beans. I um, feel like I'll need more onion. So this is just a little, a lot of times whenever I'm working up recipes and sharing new recipes that'll be on the blog, I work it into what I'm feeding my family anyway. But then there are times, especially now when I'm doing all these exclusive videos for membership and such, or if I'm doing other special cooking videos, I just end up, you know, it's kind of like I'm doing the recipes for work, but then it's a benefit for my family because we're gonna have all kinds of extra things, almost like a little Thanksgiving going on here, which will be great. We'll have lots, lots of extra stuff. And then I do have some folks that I'm gonna share some extra things that I'm making with. We can see the chickens, they're gonna be excited tomorrow. Okay, so I just washed about three pounds of beans and I'm gonna do the pinto beans in the slow cooker video. All right, so I will admit we got rated long. Did our set of the slow cooker a little longer than I would like. I won't tell if you don't. As you will see, we will make these plates now. Got a perfect potato. Then we'll get a bunch of these kielbasa slices. Get over there, kielbasa. This is your destiny. So here we go. We got some pepper slices, some tomatoes, some butter, baked potato, kielbasa slices. Yay, dinner is done. Okay, brand new day. Brand new day. These uh, slow cookers around me have cooled down and calmed down. Got lots of late night cooking for the membership site going. I hear kids though, the volume. Daddy is gone, taking other kids to piano. Kids that are here, it's like, hold on, let me get this macaroni in the slow cooker real quick and we'll get back to school. So, Gabriel is helping, helping, while I share with you this macaroni and then back to the school table. So in my brand new large family slow cooker dinner's book with four week meal plan, one of the recipes in there is my slow cooker macaroni. It's a no boil macaroni and in there I also put in chopped ham. You can easily replace any protein you would like. But I don't have everything on hand that I need to make it just how my recipe is laid out. I don't have the ham, and I don't have the Big Sin cream of chicken soup, which I add to it to make it extra creamy. You can obviously make it a lot of other ways. The wonderful thing about doing macaroni in the slow cooker is it's a no boil method. So any way you can do it, that's just fine. So what I'm doing today, using my eight quart slow cooker, I also don't have a cheese blend or cheddar, but I have mozzarella. So this recipe is going to be a creamy crock pot macaroni in Instead of cream of chicken soup, we're gonna use some evaporated milk. We're gonna use mozzarella. I'm gonna put in some ground mustard. All of this will be linked down in the description below. But now you can watch me throw this all together. Now, you can also mix all of your ingredients in another bowl, then dump it in your slow cooker. But I gotta get back to school stuff, and I need this macaroni done for dinner. I'll show you what I'm serving for dinner. I did a whole chicken in the slow cooker last night also for one of my membership videos and that's gonna go along with this macaroni and cheese dinner. So anywho, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do the dump and go method. Here we go. So that was right about 10 cups of macaroni. This is a three pound box. Now I'm going to do milk. 
I'm gonna do eight cups of milk, and then I'm doing both of these cans of evaporated milk. Also going to do about four tablespoons of butter. Now I'm going to put in garlic powder, I'm going to put in onion powder, this is Mama Eyeball in School, but we will have the full recipe linked below. Then I'm gonna put in some ground mustard and then some salt and pepper. Now, let's get my can opener, see if it's gonna behave today. We'll open these cans of evaporated milk. Now, I will need to come back and check on this. Uh, throughout. This is not a recipe. I would put it in the morning, then go to church and come back at lunchtime and expect it to be perfect. I don't leave macaroni in the slow cooker. It's, it needs a little baby setting. So it'll be two to three hours on high, which is perfect because we've got about two to three hours of table work left before our read aloud time. So I will probably check on it about halfway through. Sometimes I need to take like a little spatula and just kind of go along the sides a little bit. It'll be perfect because it'll line up right around when we have to eat. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that in there. Splashy, splashy, splashy. So with this one, I'm going to do 10 handfuls of cheese and then I will reserve two handfuls. Now when I say handfuls, I mean cups. But I have, I've done the science and one of my handfuls of cheese equals a cup of cheese. So there we go, JMRL math. And I will check on it in about an hour and a half. Now I know it can cause havoc with some recipes. If you open the slow cooker, you're not supposed to open it or peek on what you're cooking. But with this particular recipe, cause it takes it time to get back up to that temperature and such, I have to peek in on this one. Um, and there's been times when I haven't, it all worked out okay in the end, but I like to check on my macaroni when I can. Okay guys, it has been several hours. Much about Harriet Tubman has been read, math has been finished, writing is done, all the things. Now I want to say, this is my macaroni disclaimer, okay? I think it would look a whole lot better if I would have had some cheddar cheese, but it'll still be fantastic. It's been mozzarella -ed. yum. Okay guys, so here's how my little dinner station is going down tonight. We got the macaroni, and then some more of those sliced peppers. Now this is from the lemon pepper chicken I did last night in the slow cooker, and the potatoes and the carrots, and we are using these up as a this is from tonight. The rest are leftovers. It works, yay. Well friends, you have watched me work over my slow cookers on multiple levels <laughs> for these five easy frugal slow cooker meals. Now I want to tell you my membership, I know we're just talking about it all over the internet right now. The opportunity to join is almost over as of January 20th. Doors will be closed until later in 2020. You can click the first link in the description below and head on over and read all about my membership, about the special videos that members get, the products that members get, just the wonderful large family table community that is going over there. You can join for $12 a month or the special annual rate is 50% off, making it the same as six bucks a month, but you pay it in one annual time and get that savings. All of the recipes that I made today are also included in my new large family slow cooker dinners four week meal plan that has the grocery list everything laid out for you if you want to do the meals by the week or if you want to get everything to get all four weeks at one time which i had a recent grocery haul come out that shared all of that it has been fun making this video for you many more videos coming up soon and i will see you next time with another brand new video bye bye